smart rack is the fastest way that you can retrieve the reels and the safest way. You see that if I take a reel out without authorization, it will get an error here. You'll get an error over here. And also you'll get an error on your screen. So even now, if I try to put the reel back, this one or any other reel, it would still remain in error. Yes. So once you, someone takes out, you know it. To remove the error, you just select the reel that you want and you see it's disappearing. To put the reel back, you just scan the unique ID number and you place it in any empty location that you see. Once it detects, it will marry that location with the unique ID and it will have the blue light. You can take out reels in many different other ways. You can take out the reel by searching for the unique ID number. You can take out the reel by searching after the part number. You can scan a production order and then the system will indicate you all of the reels that you need to remove by turning the light into green. This is an RGB light, so it changes the color according to your needs. Or simply just wait for the pick and place to run out of a component and the pick and place will send directly the information which reel you need to remove for feeder number 13 for replenishment. So have you integrated the shelf system in with like the ASM material manager? We have integrated with a lot of different uh, suppliers. How about and the ASM material manager? Yeah. Okay. How about the, the Asagi storage tower system? We have with the Asagi, not this one because they don't, you know, it's a little bit of competition. But uh, the counters, we have done it. We can exchange uh, the inf uh, information with any ERP system or any other manufacturer because we can do CSV, XML, text file, APIs with HTTP protocol, API with TCP IP protocol, SQL database, DLL files. And if this is not enough for you or for the other third party, we can do customized. Okay. So we have an Asagi system. Is okay. there a way to add this to it? From our side, there is full flexibility. So, in our case, we only need to know about the part number, uh, the part number, or the unique ID number, and then we know the rest. So, like the MES sends you a list of part numbers. Yeah. You can turn on the right exactly. Exactly. So, if you have the information from Asagi into your MES, you already have it. Yes. We don't integrate directly with the SEG, we integrate with your MES. And then it doesn't matter because the information is already there. But SEG is a good, uh, let's say, tower solution. And it's good, let's say, for magazines. But next to line, this is much better from my point of view. It's faster, you don't need to wait. It's much smaller footprint. and when the system is connected directly with uh, the pick and place is right there. And also we have this one like this, but we have uh, portable. So here in this box, you have a UPS, you have the Wi-Fi antennas over here, and you can move this one from a SEGI storage next to the pick and place, and you'll utilize it there. The same principle that I showed you here, but for stencils. Stencil, frame stencils, frameless stencils, doesn't matter, the same way. It uses the sensor to detect, and you have an ID. And we have integrated with some cleaning equipment manufacturers. So if you remove the stencil from the smart shelf, you go, you do your process, and you want to put it back, it will not allow you until we don't get the green light from the cleaning equipment. So in this way, you ensure your uh, process that is 100%, Correct. And also you can see which reels you didn't use for the last two years, so you can put them in our hive. Make sense? Yeah. And the third way that we have developed a system is for pallets. We have a sensor and an LED that we can mount on any storage rack. And when you come with the pallet, it will detect and it will know what is inside because of the unique ID that you're scanning. And we have another application for conformal coating. So, yeah. that's, so that's for bulk goods you store yeah, in? Exactly. And we have another application for conformal coating. You load the 
PCBs into the magazine buffer, and you know that you need to let them, let's say, half an hour or 12 hours to dry. So you're coming, you're putting your uh, magazine onto the shelf, and then the sensor will detect, and it will turn the LED to blue. That means it's working. Half an hour later, when the timer will go off, or which one you want to set it up, you know, 12 hours, six hours, doesn't matter, the light will turn to green so you know you can remove it. Or, on the other perspective, if someone takes it out before the counter ends, you'll be having a red light for error. Mm -hmm.